Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last episode, we found Captain Quark at his hideout and he basically realized that he was a complete wuss. And we also heard that the Phoenix was under attack and now it is under attack by ninjas. Well, not ninja midget, but just ninjas. No robot ninjas, but still ninjas. And, well, it... Things didn't look too bright, and honestly, I can't say they do now either. My goodness, we gotta hurry. This could be bad. How are all the armor vendors and all that? Did, did a nin? Then. What? Okay, yeah, the ninjas are tripping, so I'm not gonna mind them. Seriously, they are really, really dripping. But anyway, um, armor vendor? I don't, I don't know anything I can. Okay, now they're not tripping so much anymore. Oh my goodness, I couldn't select the weapon for some reason. That's strange. No, 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 just play. Just get the shuriken launcher. The shuriken launcher is the ninja's only weakness. Ah, oh, okay, that's perfect. Okay, so they're not tripping so much anymore. Maybe I can kick their ass now. So, attacking the Phoenix, why would... What, what disc was she talking about again? Honestly, I can't remember. I have problems remembering plot points from games I haven't played in a while, or games that I... Well, yeah, basically just... What the... I didn't... I was not supposed to... I was supposed to get the bouncer, not the freaking spitting gun. Hydra bull crap. Oh, dang it. Well, as you can see, the, th the thing that transports you to the bridge is out, so we're gonna have to find another way around, I guess. That sucks, but we don't have much of a choice now, do we? Also, don't don't touch those pretty lights. Trust me, it's not, it's not a good idea. Also, bounce through level 2. That's a good idea. Now, let's see. Can we snipe some other efforts? Oh no, they're gonna... No, they're sending their weapons. Oh no, they're ninja weapons of ultimate mass destruction. I can't fight them. Uh, getting too weak. Okay, hyper shot, hyper shot. There we go. I need some health. Fast. Health, 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 health. Thank you. I'm gonna have to ignore some of these ninjas now. I don't have enough health to uh, actually care, so... Display. Display. Uh, display. Kill the display. Shuriken launcher, I mean, sorry, I, I didn't, I did not have no display, but I did that. You, you know what I mean. Okay, Annihilator gun. Annihilator, whatever. Let's kick some ass. And chew some bubble gum. But I'm all out of ass. Don't ask how that makes any sense, because it does. Okay, let's see. Uh, more ninjas over here. Ow. You are a freaking douchebag. That's what you are, sir. Boom. There we go. That's perfect. Boom. Boom. Okay, that's awesome. More health, please. So, what's up here? Uh, not much, it would seem. Guess I have to use the refractor, and it's in the gadget screen, isn't it? That's because I didn't use it, like... I haven't used that since... Aridia, okay, and that's a long, quite a long time ago. It's like <laughs> three episodes or whatever. Actually, I think it's four, four or five. Quite a lot of time, anyway. That's the point. Okay, let's see, Annihilator. Let's try to get that mother effer up to a phone. What do you say? Sounds like playing. Oh, did I? Oh, I got the, I got the double bolts. I actually heard it this time. Oh my goodness. My hearing's getting better, yay! But my mom doesn't agree with that. She just thinks it's getting worse because I never answer her when I'm at my computer. Even though I hear what she's saying, I just really don't feel like answering. Yay! Also, that's a new enemy. Holy my goodness, that's a new enemy. That is one new enemy. My goodness, that's a new enemy. And we're probably never going to see it again either, just for the record. I'm pretty sure that's the only time in the game where you ever see that thing. Ever. 
Seriously, that was a rare sight. It's like, it's like we just saw the Yeti, or the Abominable Snowman. Which, for that matter, is quite hard to say, the Abominable Snowman. Abominable Snowman. You know, you know what's mean? They, 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 people just call him the Abominable Snowman, but do we really know him? Is he really Abominable? We don't know. Maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe it's a girl, for all we know. Maybe it's an Abominable Snow Woman. I don't know. <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Hey, it's good to see you too. I guess that's a way to Is say it, okay? to put it. We're fine. You made it just in time. Oh, thank goodness. Lucky then. What? I'll crack the encryption. Oh. The disk contains a complete it's not luck. It's a skill. Plan. He's going to attack planet after planet, leaving nothing but robots in his wake. The bioblitterator is so well protected. Nefarious doesn't believe we can stop it. Can we? I estimate our odds at approximately 1 in 63 million, give or take. Preferably hey, give. That's, uh, well, you know, not so bad. The bio-obliterator is programmed to recharge its power cells after each attack. It's recharging at a base on planet Koros right now. And Ratchet, the next target is Veldin. No. Not Veldin was Veldin. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know what Veldin is, actually. Do you know what Vel... Do I have... I'm gonna tell you. Veldin, that's Ratchet's home planet. So, if he decides to attack Veldin, that... That would just... That would not be very... Nice at all, now would it? Also, mainly, the Phoenix is back to normal now. All the, other than the music and the red... Everywhere, but it, it's, it's... It's pretty normal, you know. Maybe... Maybe a little... Death everywhere, and... But, you know, it just makes the place feel more like home, doesn't it? And no gadget vendor, that's... Uh, oh, there is one here, of course. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not that... It's not bad. I mean, geez, could have been worse. Okay, so... That's Koros. That is the fi No, it's not. It's actually not the final planet now that I think about it. It's... We we're getting close to the end of the game, actually. So, let's just go to Koros quite quickly now to see. I'm pretty sure we actually can get a new weapon as well once we get to Koros. So, I uh, not get, of course, we can buy a new weapon. Because nothing's free anywhere, ever, anymore. Back in my day, I could get a burger and f three hookers for 450. No, I do not mean 350. I mean, four fifty dollars. And that's... That, that was a lot back then. How are we supposed to take it out? My biggest gun wouldn't even put a dent in that thing. Then we will need a bigger gun. True. Yeah, right. Where are we gonna get that kind of firepower? Found it. Huh? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that ought to do it. If you can get me inside the command center, I can override the targeting system and take control of that ion cannon. Ion cannon? Let's go. Ion cannon? Today's special offer. Ion cat. Oh. Coil. Oh yeah. Actually, there was a new weapon as well. It's a plasma coil, which I will also get for free because of the whole Ratchet and Clank 2 save thing. So we're gonna take control of the ion cannon. The ion cannon. My goodness, that is very not fitting. Considering if you play Tales of the Abyss and you know who Ion is in that game, that is a very unfitting name for a cannon. He's like the most peaceful guy on the planet. Or, in, in Tales of the Abyss, at least, the like, most peaceful guy in Aldrin. I think that's the name of the... Yeah, that's the name of the planet in uh, Tales of the Abyss. Yeah. Also, new robots in here. Uh, actually, new enemies altogether. <laughs> actually, now that I think about it... Uh... I'm pretty sure that though, that robot I was talking about earlier that we never got to see again, if we get to see it anywhere ever again, it's here. It's on the Coros, but after that, no more. At all. Ever. Never. Seriously. So this place, this, this is a, I love, I love Coros. I don't, it has a, I, I don't know, I just love it. It just, it has so many things, it has so many things to crush and it's got like that city atmosphere. Reminds me sort of of the Sly Cooper series, really. Okay, yeah, there were more of those robots after all. 
I had a feeling since we're going to this planet. Well, if I ha I could remember Koros even existed, so yeah. Well, now I know. I guess I, I learned something today. It ju it'll be just like in those old South Park episodes, where at the end they just say, "You know, I learned something today." Even though Butters is a dumbass, we have to respect him for being a dumbass. Because disrespecting people for being what they are is not very nice. Even though they probably never say that, because no, nobody in that show likes Butters. Other than his parents, but those don't count, you know. Jeez. Uh, oh my. I'm just raking in the cash here. Because. There is so many crushable things on this planet. My goodness, I literally make all thousands just by crushing things. And fittingly enough, there's skill points that you get if you crush up the most of the stuff on this planet. So that is just that's a really nice skill point. Because <laughs> it's easy to get. Uh, so I'm gonna get go get the plasma coil and the uh, and I'm also going to go buy the PDA thing later. That's after I'm, uh... God damn it, after I've, I'm done with Koros, and I'm not gonna be done in this episode. Let me just tell you that much. Because this is a pretty friggin' long planet. Uh, it is, after all, one of the final ones, so it would be... It would be strange if it wasn't a very long planet. If you're asking me, anyway. But I don't know if you're asking me, because I can't hear you through my microphone or my headset. Or not a headset, in my headphones, but yeah. You get the dealio. Okay, I'm g I bet you there's a giant robot in here. No, nope, not one. Three. Well, I wouldn't say three. There. Okay, yeah, that that's a giant robot. Look, for some reason it just froze right there. I don't know what that was all about. So, as you can see, the Annihilator really does do quite the damage on this planet. It's a nice weapon to have, still. It's very nice. Uh, I almost have 300,000. My goodness, I came to this planet with like 240. You know? This is just madness. I, I love it, though, but it's madness. Okay, boom. Any more crushables? I don't really know. There's just something about this that just kind of blows my mind, really. It doesn't blow my mind, really. I'm lying. It doesn't blow my mind, but it's an awesome place. I one of my favorite planets. There's just not there's just not a whole lot more to say about it than that. Also, they're gonna die. A horrible, horrible death cut to pieces by my freaking badass gun. Also, here's a trophy. Sweet. Yeah, that's the Courtney Gears trophy. So we're getting quite close to finishing the most of the trophies as well. You know, excluding the trophies you get by doing certain things like collecting all titanium bolts and that, and all that jazz. The, the, we don't count those, you know. I always find it, found it to be a little strange how they put two like collectibles so close to each other, especially such rare collectibles, you know. Just, I don't know. I always found that to be peculiar, <clears throat> odd, if you will. I never liked using that phrase. Ask my real life friends, if, even though you probably don't know, know who that are. Who, who that are? Oh my goodness! I, I English speak well. I speak England good. They speak England in English. I am such a brilliant. I should be comedian genius. I should be a genius. I should be a genie. My goodness. Also, we yeah, almost have a full nanotech. Like, almost a hundred, actually. We're really getting there. Basically, we're getting there with everything. And also, oh my goodness! Oh, man. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Multi shuriken launcher. That's insane. Oh my goodness! It's a multi shuriken launcher. 
multi shuriken launcher of death. Oh, that is. <clears throat> that feels good. Killing just. Aw oh, man, just smashing up the place and killing people with my multi shuriken launcher. That is. I'm, I'm a little touched, to be honest. I'm... <laughs> I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm sorry, just. It feels so good. The multi shuriken launcher. I never thought I'd see the day. It can make up to 16 multiple different shurikens. It's beautiful. Oh, I, I almost dropped my head. I almost dropped my headphones. In all of the. In my. Uh, in my. Oh, I can't even speak. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Love it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, enough of that anyway. <laughs> enough of that anyway. So, I think we're getting pretty close to smashing up, completing the whole smashing up the place dealio. Not sure though, I think we do have to smash things in here as well. This is like the inner parts of the whole place. And I'm not gonna do that in this episode because this episode is. Well, I don't know how long this episode is. I. I just kind of recorded two episodes in one recording now, just now, so I, I'm an idol. I've lost count. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching this very shuriken episode. Let's play Ratchet and Clank with up your arsenal. It's so gorgeous. And I hope to see you guys next time, when we probably use the multi-shuriken launcher even more. And fade.